Judge Me is playing in the background by Cresta's Music. Okay. I never heard that, but that may be relevant to you. Cancer, welcome back to One Message in a Bottle Tarot. My name is Juan, and I'm your spiritual advisor. We are doing your July love readings, and the series is Five Keys to Identifying Your Soulmate. We're going to do a five-card spread, four for the main energy, and then one for the overall. All right? Thank you all for your support. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe here. And the notification bell so you don't miss a single reading. You never know what we're going to be doing. All right, Cancer, let's get into the five keys to identifying your soulmate. The Cancer, July 2021. Okay, jump right in. Wait, let me get my little. Mm -hmm. Uh, the fool card here. Look at that, it's me, it's me, it's me, bear. <laughs> the fortune teller. Okay, uh, acknowledge whatever you are being shown here. Look. The cards are on the table. Their cards are going to be on the table. They're going to lay all their cards uh, on the table here. Uh, and again, I feel like um, a big uh, tape. Uh, man, look at the energy. This, These are beautiful freaking cards here. I can't even uh, tell you. But listen, yeah, I definitely feel with this person, all their cards to be uh, on the table. They're going to be uh, up front, direct. Like, what, what do you want to know? What do you want to know? You see this mirror here in the back of their chair? I feel like uh, not only are they going to reflect the energy, uh, your energy back to you, they are a, uh, in some ways, a reflection of you or should be. So it's like whatever you show me is basically what I'm going to uh, mimic back to you. So whatever the projection, whatever you're projecting now is what they're going to show you. You will be revealed to yourself by interacting with uh, their energy here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a lot going on, but I'm going to leave that for later. <laughs> Five keys to identifying your soulmate. Cancer. That card came out again and again. Ego death. This death card keeps coming up here. Scorpio, so water energy is very uh, prevalent here. Death to ego, death to wounds. Uh, escaping transformation uh, or, or running away from and knowing that this is needed. Knowing that uh, wisdom, is, uh, hindsight is uh, twenty twenty. here. You may, um, hmm. I feel like, um, again, this isn't the type of, uh, <laughs> I feel like, uh, again, I mean, when you think about your soulmate, what I'm seeing is the key thread here is they have transformative energy here. Like, they're, these are the type of love and the connections with, you know, just soul-crushing uh, vulnerability here, uh, nakedness here, just uh, openness here, just uh, really, you know, like... It's not a bed of roses. It can be a bed of roses, but at the same time, you only get that when uh, <laughs> when you take the journey to uh, really sit with yourself here. We have the Emperor card here. This ba this person base what I'm hearing is, and this is not everybody's gonna understand this, but it's like they they have authority. They will come with an, a certain authority authoritative energy over their laurels here, Cancer. Um, here and are and also bring that out and possibly manifest that uh within yourself here. I'm just here. I'm hearing cut the shit. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no, yeah, no nonsense. No, uh, low tolerance is also, uh, what I'm, what I'm hearing here. 
you're going to definitely have to be brave with this new energy here. It will require you really stepping outside of yourself, stepping outside of your comfort zone here. Uh, I kind of get the energy like a baby with a pacifier and like Nana running up and she's snatching the damn pacifier. I'm like, come on, and you know, all the places we will go is what I also heard. All right. Helping you to find your most powerful self, your most, uh, the leader in you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but it's the way they do it and the way they deliver it. It could, it's like we can either we can take it nice and easy, but either way, uh, when I get done with you, you're gonna be uh, rolling on a river. <laughs> Basically, death card here to all the foolishness and 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 the ways and how you uh, acted uh, before or acting out here. I don't know what I see this dial here, but I also just heard elf elf on the shelf. So that means uh something to somebody here. Elf on the shelf. Alright. Yeah, you keep coming out anyway. King of Wands here. Um Five keys to identifying your soulmate is they will help uh awaken the passion uh in you. Okay. Um, but I feel like, uh, the passion will become and really, um, seeing about yourself, seeing the true, uh, mirror, seeing who you are really, you know what I mean? Maybe you probably don't understand that. It's like... I don't know. This person will bring an energy like uh, they see you higher and better and stronger and more steadfast than probably you've ever seen yourself uh, uh, in life here. They help you kind of uh, break out of your shell. Um, at the same time, this person is not to be your person is not, you know, they're not the type that you can really make a fool of pull the wool over their eyes or anything uh, like that. Like, she's like, you can't fool me. Like, nigga, I got your card. And this person will pull your motherfucking card, too. <laughs> Period. I just heard, I got your number. And I got your number. So this is not the, they're going to call you on your shit if you're on this foolishness. And that will probably be an ego death within itself uh, here. But it's like, no hide and seek, motherfucker. I see you. Again, especially if there's a Leo energy prevalent here. But you see there's a lion in the front. And there's also one up in the back. One hiding and, and shit like that. Like, yeah. This is definitely uh, your, your equal. But uh, they're the, they, they bring the type of energy that... that, that um, uh, how do you put it? It's just like a burden, uh, kind of nudging someone out, out of the nest to become their, their greatest selves here. They help you become more adventurous. They help you take more risks. They help you take more uh, leaps here. They uh, also help you address what needs to be put behind childish ways, childish ener energies, little play things. Little, they, they help you uh, put all that aside. And uh, again, the death card is transformative. But with this boat in the background, it gives me six of swords energy. So again, that's like my Nora, uh, Nora Jones come away with me type energy. What is this death card? The picture they show you becomes, you know, if you thought you knew you, they bring it. They bring the kind of energy that uh, shows you exactly who who you are beyond your capabilities, beyond the weak thing or the childhood thing or the, you know, the that wounded inner child. They 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 hold up a mirror and say, no, this is you are not your brokenness. This is exactly who you are here. Two of uh, two of wands here. It's a lot of, um, mm. they bring the type of energy that says make a choice. Either you die here and you die here alone and you die here in your pain and, and your regret and your things of the past, or you make a decision to move forward. They help you be decisive, but they, they help you be decisive by showing you, uh, all you can be, all that you, uh, all that you are. All right, like they, I get the uh, the image of when people say, 
uh, you know, the husband is the head, but the wife is the neck type of energy. That's what I'm getting here. You understand that that's the energy that they bring. They, they, you know, uh, you, you, like a dog burying bones in the, in the backyard. And it's like, all right, bury what you need to and, and come on or bury that and let that be. Okay. You have to bury something so, so you can fly. All right. Uh, leave this island of uh, uh, I'm getting lost okay maybe the series lost so that may be relevant to somebody what is this uh, emperor card here hermit card here I feel they speak and they will communicate to you in such a uh, in such ways that make you uh, contemplate uh, the wonder, contemplate what uh, what could be the possibilities. Again, especially if you know if you feel some type of way about yourself, okay. They also know how to give you your space. I definitely feel like to kind of get yourself together. To kind of uh, meditate, they know how to do that. They take time, they take space for themselves. All right, that may be a common thing. Um, common thing here to kind of get give you the uh, space to kind of get your thoughts together, get your emotions together, release what needs to be released. They they know how to leave you to yourself here. I was supposed to do one, two, three. Okay, so that's five card spread. I had to make sure I got it right here. I want to stay organized. All right. It's still what it is, but yeah. All right. So the overall energy being the two of wands here. Um, this hermit card is um, clarifying the full card. So again, I feel like while they are a mirror to you sometimes you know that yeah they help you they they bring an energy that possibly helps you kind of uh grow up a little bit here <laughs> they're with you through uh, all these stages in life uh even some of those stages that may require uh, isolation here what is this fool and hermit Somebody definitely likes their quality time. Somebody definitely likes their solo time. And they definitely uh, leave you to it. They understand that they will understand that you need that uh, space for balance here. So you can kind of get yourself together here. Uh, justice card here. You may have a problem. You may be someone who has a problem with uh, making decisions or things like that. They help you. Uh, they they uh, they give good guidance is what I, help, uh, what I feel here. Three of circles here. Um, I do like, a, <laughs> I don't know, again, maybe, uh, just as much as you need space, this person will, again, will also take that same space here, but you will work in such a way you will work in such a balance that it's something, you know, I, they have just the right amount of patience, just the, the right temperament, everything to, you know, this is the person you're going to walk with. The person is definitely going uh, to, to, to help you uh, grow here and give you the, 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 the right nudges in that direction. What is this emperor? If you're a person that used to, you know, really work solo and, and uh, uh, isolate and really be by yourself, this is a person. It's like... They will isolate from you, but you'll still be kind of isolating together, if that makes sense. Okay? <laughs> this is funny. Seven of Swords here. I definitely feel the energy. Maybe you like your space, uh, Cancer, or something like this. This uh, Queen of Swords here. But again, with this Emperor card, as you transform um, into this, as you transform into your power, uh, um, it... it it may be a you know a tough road <laughs> here, but that's what soulmates are here for. But I feel like the way this person is with words, it's a your person coming in, uh, especially if it's an air sign. You know their deliverance is is like you couldn't. Uh, they'll be the type you you couldn't help but laugh, or you couldn't. They they break they break down all of your defenses here. 
so to speak, right? They have a they will have a very colorful way of communicating with you and and kind of getting things understood to kind of again uh, get get the connection where it needs to be going. Okay, it's uh it's undeniable here. What is this two of wands? Yeah, with the truth here, a lot of truth, a lot of transparency and, and all of that with these uh, divine soulmate connections. This is how you're going to know who your person, um, who your person is, uh, Cancer. They're, they're made just, uh, <laughs> just, just for you. And if you're in a space where you're feeling down or feeling down about your luck, this is a person, your heart is definitely safe in their hands. Um, I'm feeling this is a person that's uh, going to nurture you and uh, stand beside you. Also give you your space uh, to grow. Someone that's going to have some patience with you. Okay. Yeah, healthy choices here, making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier. This is the energy they bring, the phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and change of mind. They, they have the patience to allow you to grow. They're going to be with you through all the stages in your life, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing inner child growth. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say that? All right. This will lead to marriage, maybe not right off. Y'all gonna wait a while, but again, they're realizing that you need to heal for some through some things, and they have the patience to walk through with uh with you on that. If you didn't believe in love, this may be someone who makes you believe in love again. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, eternal promise. Maybe they're getting over a heartbreak or something like that. All right, but this looks really good here for you. And it's here if you're uh, if you're waiting if you don't run from if you don't run from it if you sit and you do the work this could lead to uh, something amazing here for you and I couldn't be all the happier. Thank you for watching. Uh, I love you with the highest love. One.